Give himself some hope if he can relax a bit and they start going in, you just never know. But clearly, Gary Wilson in a very strong position, poised to win a third. Bimbrough, Scottish Open. Oh, goodness, he's made a mistake there. And he hasn't won yet. That's the other thing. He is sick. And of course, he's got to try and take it. He's had such a wonderful week. Great performance yesterday in that semi. That's a really nice shot. That's I think it's a double-edged sword. Sometimes you can look at average shot times and they mean nothing because... That break has come to an abrupt. If nothing else, Martin O'Donnell, Leo Scullion called touching ball there. And plenty of snooker drama on a Sunday night. I know that there was talk of it not staying in uh, Landed No after last year. Right from the first ball. Well, now the issue of pots he made. I mean, I don't, I don't know what yeah. the. Yeah. Right, please, well, they please. have fair play. I mean, I, I think I'd have been reluctant. Seventeen points, seventeen points, aren't they? Yeah, because they don't carry over. We start the frame again. O'Donnell again. starts. We've had a re-rack in the opening frame of the evening. Six-two. Gary Wilson leads. He needs three to become champion. Clear. Was travelling too far. Yeah. Yeah. And while I'll say again, we know he hasn't won yet tonight, so we won't. So, yeah, I'm not saying you win it either, but he should be in a conversation. I think. Cut that brown by a long way, by a yeah, long way. One. His fiance is here with Playing at this kind of range now, and this. This wasn't nice, basically. Oh, Golf if he loses 13. If he does win, it'll be fourth on events. Just over a year, another final. But that again is not a good shot. So, O'Donnell. Donald, whatever happens, he'll be in the top 64 and off that he's sort of seen during his career. I'm going to go back to Q school and try and requalify. Now, an aggressive shot from Wilson, opening the Reds up. Wilson won't feel that he needs to. Moved a couple of the reds out of the way. There's not a lot wrong with that position. No. Oh, sure that Could get in behind the green as well here. Gary Wilson, one. 
Well, that's very good. Four nil against John Higgins. Just got on a real sort of scoring spree. And one thing I say about Gary, he's a real hard worker. You always see him on the practice table at tournaments. As O'Donnell. Yes, shot, so he's putting it back and hoping something good will come out of it, but it's hard to know exactly what that would be. very easily well, I was going to say I didn't see him hit one yeah. Gary Wilson for Adam <laughs> yeah I thought it was my eyes but he did miss Well, he is very good at going a step further this week as he scored well. And he's always going to be very competitive in the safety side of the game. It's another fine shot. That little corner of the top. Very long way away from the pot there, and it oh goodness, how close without getting it! Wow, that's unbelievable. One. Those reds open by playing from a red into them. Off of a red at some point. 13. I don't think he played that. Matthew O'Donnell, 13. Back in two cents. But now it's just uh, a bit of a stalemate again them and he's had a few already that's the day after the world championship or well, snooker championship that is Sort of gone in behind that red. Of course, it will. Be. I'd be surprised if there's any more rewards. That might be his best chance to put a red from that. If he went a different way, which I think he didn't, that red to the left of the pink might have been potable to the middle. But the only problem with this Gary Wilson escape is he comes very close to the blue off that first cushion. Because if he hit that, then anything's possible. The blue off this first cushion here. Well, I 
Played that well. I know he's kissed the blue on the way through, but better than... So once again, a score. One. Nice. Well, that was very unlucky. I don't think he. Because <laughs> any good news was he didn't actually open the other reds up, so he didn't leave anything on. So we're back to this again. to put it so he's strange shot wasn't it he had to get the snooker there One. A bad decision but if you could set a table up to somewhere to get a snooker the potted it and got it back on its spot the points irrelevant Where's this gibble? Wow. Oh. Well, it's a bad shot, even though in the lines. Well, there's the red. The blue to follow. And that means if he does get the blue, gibble slowed up, but he's got to play it, really. He takes the green. It's another snooker he requires. So this has got to go in. If it doesn't, he might concede the frame. One. Donald is sort of crawling over the winning line in it. The red goes in. It surely is. Because I did it's quite unlucky a couple of times in it. Might be thinking about just putting the frame to bed and moving forward. But as you say, he... right of the uh, someone sent me a. Uh, the 1978 World Championship, and uh, Eddie Charlton was playing on, and he was miles behind, but not Gary Wilson. Yeah. The last ranking final to go to a decider was over a year ago now, the World Grand Prix last season. We haven't had many close matches of late, really. I mean, we've had matches that have been close, and then someone's pulled away at the end, but... Tell you what, it's not happening for him tonight, is it? Luck wise, I mean, that was unlucky, but the red has got in like a bullet. One of great disappointment. Yeah, I mean, it's the second, you know, aggressive, positive shot he's played where something horrible. Hadn't all been sort of slogging through. Of course, made one in the decider yesterday against Slesser. But you just cannot afford that. Not at this stage, not at any stage of a final really, but certainly when you need frames on the board, you need to put breaks away. Yeah, that didn't uh, help at all. I mean, he, he was given the 
the opportunity. Powerhouse scoring up there with the best that was that display. I spoke to Gary after he won the Scottish Open this season and I said, did it feel different winning it again? And he can, no one could say it was just a, a one-off, a fluke. You know, he, he got another trophy, same trophy as it turned out. United player to have won at least three ranking tournaments. 45. It works that way. Gary is the exception. Because to win one is an effort. If you haven't done one, one. And what he is, if, of, of these two, very dangerous scorer. Yes, he has a more natural fluency, doesn't he? Just the way he walks around the table. This was the miss from O'Donnell. Remember how he got in when Wilson knocked the red in off the blue, splitting them. So it was a big yeah. chance that for O'Donnell, but that Wilson could get out of his chair, where he was stewing a bit about the lucky duck this evening. Just calm himself, make a nice contribution, and settle in title. And the Ray Reardon Trophy. 57. Seventy-five. Wilson, of course, last night nearly had a. Eighty. And he'd like another, he's promoted the ground. Yeah, it's typical of a chance where you feel quite honestly very easy red. And it was just a question of Wilson coming out of his chair and taking the Donalds. Whether there was a bit of luck involved for the century then. Well, it looked like things were conspiring against him. Again, a very strong favourite to win this title here this evening. He enjoyed that, didn't he? 107. Made a break of a hundred. Get otherwise there'll be no comeback. And Wilson, of course, would have sympathy, I think, for you know. try and pot the first one naturally and he would see the second one go in but he could be away here and uh, as I say there was that match Seven. mentioned last night where he made four centuries in a row in a match where he was which he's scoring like that that's like world-class scoring that's you know, Sullivan begins Hendry mode isn't it Twelve. you wreck Quite a lengthy opening session. We had a 57 minute second frame. In fact, that. 21. He feels a bit unlucky about what happened on the previous shot. And I think. That's why he's missed it. And I'm afraid a few errors have really kept in, uh, crept into. It. Yeah, that goes right through. What? That was handy because at first, with the red up the table being covered by the. Green. Eighty. 
Hello. One. Again, O'Donnell has to take advantage. Not like he's not been getting chances this evening. Having just made a century last frame. I don't think it even hit the jaw of the pocket. It was by so far. Yeah, so a twist in the tail there. It kind of looked like things were petering out a bit for O'Donnell, but that miss from Wilson, unexpected miss. And here he is, he's poised for 7-4. Judd Trump, remember, was 7-3 down to Zhang Andre in the first home nation's final of the season, the English Open. Turn that round. because he was struggling and then it becomes doesn't it the big next frame klaxon gets sounded because if you can make it seven five then you just never know wilson was looking a heavy favorite until he broke down there 58. this could yet turn to yet another sunday night thriller 60. important that o'donnell starts scoring he has done here of course it's only his third half century of the whole match. Sixty-three. He's worked so hard to get to his first final. Had to work hard to get back on tour first and foremost. And he's determined to put up a, a good showing after a magnificent week here in Clandidno. Win or lose, he wants to feel he's given his best in this final. So this was an important contribution and a great break in the end. An 85 clearance from Martin O'Donnell from the unexpected miss black from Gary Wilson. This final not done yet. Martin O'Donnell not done yet. He pulls another one back to trail 7-4. Yes, pulls one back, and uh, he's almost in the game, as Dave Hendon said in commentary. If he could take it to 7-5, uh, then it very would, much would be game on Alan McManus. But uh, an unexpected miss black from Gary, and Martin took his chance. Yeah, he did. After this, Gary has a, a shake at his arm there, a look at his, I feel at his elbow, his shoulder, all that, as if there's some kind of flaw there. Do you know what? It's just a missable shot, you know? And, and, and that's giving off vibes to Martin, perhaps, that, well, maybe Gary's not all that comfortable with something that's... Um, some of the stuff he's doing out there. So Martin looks like he feels he's still in this final. Of course he is, it's 7-4. And um, the only one thing I would say about Martin at the moment, he's got to try as he can to just pick up the pace slightly. The boy, just Again, Rachel, sorry, the boys in the com box made a good point. Gary is the more natural scorer of the two. He can pick up the pace a little bit and get frames one without trying so hard. His average shot time around about 30 at the minute. It was actually higher in the match, but still, as Alan says, there has been times where he's hesitated, maybe when he hasn't uh, needed to. An average shot time of Gary Wilson, 22, but the most important thing, it's the score, 7-4. And, uh, well, Martin will be feeling good. That was his highest break in the match. Yeah, and look, it's not a 
critique as such the, the, the short time. It's not that. The point is, he's got to win from here, what is it, 5-1, to get this done. The only way that's going to happen is if he tries to get a little bit more rhythm in his game and win without sweating, in a, in a sense, you know, try and off the cuff kind of thing, and try and put the frighteners on Gary. OK, well, uh, the boys in the box are Neil Foles and David Hendon. Let's go back uh, and join them now. A rather purposeful stride about Martin O'Donnell as he returns to this arena, having just made 85, a nice clearance, 7-4. Big, big frame now. If he can win this, he's in touch at the interval. 8-4, obviously, Wilson then just one away from that lovely Ray Reardon trophy. The target, he clearly would have set himself O'Donnell tonight in this mini session he'll win it he'll have done that if he wins this frame it's a big one isn't it this one because at 7-5 we've still got a match on and 8-4 you feel that uh, Wilson is still with that four frame lead and frames are certainly running out so a lot depends on the outcome of this fourth frame of the evening 12th of the match. But I thought that was quite a good break that he made. He, he certainly was a little quicker through it, more fluent. Yes, the balls were there, but he you know, he took them well. It's part of his game, I think, has improved. When he's in, he can be a bit more forthright in his shot selection. <laughs> he's worried about this shot because of the the road that's close to the pocket. Hard to not leave it on. <laughs> Stay close to the pocket. He's not hanging over the pocket, obviously on the right side, but clearly Wilson will be having a dart at it. We missed that because he played it with left hand side straighten up the cue we'll check it off the cushion not go into the bunch we should say and it's a small subplot there's another person interested in this Chris Wakelin who at the moment is in 16th spot for the players championship he'll be in if Wilson wins I say that because he put a post up on social media this morning basically sort of biting his fingernails and played Judd Trump tomorrow night actually if, uh, if Gary Wilson wins the tournament Played to the cushion, not to the uh, cushion and back out behind the yellow. It's probably safe to say that Gary's not had the best of run of the ball this evening. But a couple of shots that he missed were completely his own fault. There's a little nudge has gone in favour of O'Donnell, but he needed something to change from this afternoon. That's a good shot. Exactly as played. Very good at the top side of the red. Yeah, he played it well, and also he sort of, well, whatever he was feeling about the running O'Donnell had, he didn't let it show. He just played a good shot. Last couple of shots he played, balls flying around everywhere. O'Donnell. I don't think he's left anything very easy.
and some of the colours might be off their spots, but actually it's not altering the fact that a good chance would arise if someone was to leave something. Because nothing's that difficult. Well, now the black's gone for now, so, so let's change that. Tied up by the red. He took a risk there trying to pop the red and maybe free the black at the same time. Well, there's plenty of reds to hit, but not many to either pot or play good safety shots from. It's quite a cluttered area down there on that left side. Don't know if you can put anything along there. And the safety shot, as I say, is a quite an awkward one. The two reds are lined up to the right corner, past the blue there. But you can't get to it directly. <coughs> well, it's quite a cute angle. This is the cue ball being right behind this red on the table makes it gettable, but it's not a simple shot to drop that in. You can easily hit the jaw on the way through. There's not a lot of pocket that you can see. Very good shot. I mean, it's uh, just, uh, right down that channel on, on the right there. And of course, he was always going to use the blue. It wasn't a fluke that he put it off the blue. I think this was part of the plan.
So, the colours uh, in unorthodox positions, the pink will be available. Red spread far and wide. Five. Yeah, for that reason, you, you maybe come to the table with a different mindset, not to you know, make a century or whatever it is. Get 30 or 40 where the balls are and see where it could lead from there. I still think those two reds might be a plant to the right corner. We've got a, a view from the back of the uh, auditorium at the moment. I thought it still looked like one there. And it's just they can't quite get through to it. Yeah, I think they're very close, but there's a red in the way. One thing I'll say for Gary, and I think this is absolutely sort of in good stead, when he won that first Scottish Open, he barely celebrated. You know, he was happy, obviously, and delighted to get a trophy, but he didn't go to his head. It was kind of, okay, we'll tick that box, now on to the next one. He didn't have a good run the remainder of the year, but of course ended up winning it again. And same sort of attitude, really. It's, uh, it's a question of now trying to become a more regular winner. 19. Now, what if he pushes the left-hand red out away from the other two, the plant becomes available. Because I'm sure that's on. And I think he spotted it much earlier in the frame when he couldn't do anything about it. 25. From straight, I think he's a certainty. It's just a little bit left jaw. But 27. the red has come in the way of pink. So the reserve, again, as it was earlier in the, the evening session, the brown is where the break's going to continue from. That, uh, you see, it was a good plant, but the other red just got in the way of the line of the pink to the same pocket. Uh, this is missable. Uh, very clean. The kind of evening it's been for Gary, a little frustrating. But, you know, you could have easily thought, seen him miss that one, that rest shot, but it went straight in the middle of the pocket. sign potting that in this big big frame pre-interval as he attempts to get within one of the title 46. remember Gary Wilson having turned pro in 2004 initially dropped off in 2006 he was off for seven years you know he looked like he sort of come and gone in the game so he's a bit of a late bloomer if anything and determined now he's got himself in the 16 got himself in the winner's circle he's gonna stay there 42 There was a twist in the last frame, wasn't there? Martin O'Donnell had the chance when Wilson missed unexpectedly. Got to say, though, there's a bit of a spring in Gary Wilson's step now. Looking confident again. Well, he was, but until he missed that. Wow, another unexpected miss, straight pink. That pocket's not been his friend tonight, that left middle, for a number of reasons. That was never there. So that was completely unexpected and well let's see will history repeat itself here O'Donnell does get the chance that he was hoping for maybe not expecting Nicely played. Yeah, and if there is going to be any turnarounds, I mean, obviously he'd have to win this frame anyway for it to be the case, but a turnaround would involve 
pretty dramatic change of fortunes, I think. Gary Wilson feeling uncomfortable having not won the frame when he was going so well. Just a series of circumstances that would have enabled O'Donnell to come back and maybe win this match. 14. Is again scarcely believable. 21. O'Donnell still work to do, but the frame looked over. It looked like 8 4 all day long. It's hard to think he'll win the, the frame here. 20. I mean, he could do, but there are a few reasons why it wouldn't happen in one visit. The red by the black, and of course, the red on the left side, although, of course, as a left hander. That is reachable at least. Doesn't make the shot easy, but he can reach it. This is about the same sort of shot from the other side of the table that Wilson has just missed to the left middle pocket. Yeah, I mean, he didn't have much angle on that pink, so looking now for a telling safety. Fifteen points in it. Interesting oh, shot there to get 20. the red on the cushion in play rather than the other one. I thought he was going to play off the right hand red of the two. But he played the one down the cushion just to bring that out as well. So probably a good choice of shot. Wilson playing safe from this red, not going for it. Racing around the angles there. The colours all out and open play now, so again, it's a question of whoever makes the first mistake might lose the frame. Well, it's made no difference as far as a, bit, a pot available. No, 
know what might be significant? He's knocking the yellow on the cushion with the fact he's trailing. We'll see. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, fair point. The yellow might be an issue because he's going to need it. And Wilson may not if he can get in before that. Played that one well, that's a nice safety shot. He's got to be a bit careful on his right hand, Red. He's a little close to the cushion. If he plays the up and down safety shot, he could get a double kiss if he catches too much of it. Well, he went very thin on it, so that was okay. Got to watch out for the red now. He doesn't get the cover. This is a possibility for O'Donnell. to get if he, the, the red that he pots next would be the one he would hope uh, just below the pink but he wants to be on the black from that to get the black on his spot for the red down the cushion important he gets on the black here very important if possible of course down the cushion or he's going to roll this in and play the snooker behind the black when it's respotted. Oh dear, that's a terrible miss. He's not doing anything there. I mean, he could have played it to actually try and get on the red. It's a little bit negative, the whole process, and he ended up missing one that he had no right missing, to be honest. This is... A, and then he's just trying to roll it in and play the snooker. Wilson didn't try and do anything flash there. He got a bit of a net off. I mean, everyone misses balls, but that one was pretty inexcusable, really. Gary Wilson will need the yellow, at, but importantly, also the green. So that's one thing that has slightly changed.
gone with the, the shot to play the snooker, and he's played it well. I mean, a little bit of risk attached if you don't get the snooker. Leave a chance at the red. But he has played it well. Seems that Gary Wilson, when he's chanced his arm a few times tonight, he's not got much luck out of the situation. He's left a thin red, but it's not an easy one. shot now of course uh, Deb was saying that Gary Wilson wanted uh, yellow and green earlier on in the frame but of course the same applies to O'Donnell now he, he, he's got to get onto the yellow and then onto the green still will be hopped behind when he does so it's not an easy shot well, especially from there Eight. Well, this is a huge moment now in the final on the colours. 8 4 or 7 5 heading to the interval. It's been a battle, hasn't it? We started two hours ago tonight. This is now the key moment of the whole evening. It was not a good shot. I think he must have played it up and down to the right cushion there. I think that uh, Gary Wilson missed. The moment is not costing in the frame because it's not perfect here to get from green to brown. But if it does, it's, it's going to be an uncomfortable few minutes if he loses this frame. He was absolutely in command. Mr. Pink to middle for no reason. But he hasn't lost the frame yet. It was a terrific chance. Yes, it's no consolation that he's on the brown, <laughs> Mr. Green. So the battle on the yellow that was vital now becomes the battle on the green. pretty quickly didn't he just to check he'd actually got the cover on the green which you can see he very much has so this is trouble for O'Donnell got to get it safe otherwise it could be 8-4 Wilson's one away from the trophy very solidly played out of that snooker
wouldn't be surprised if Wilson was tempted by this. If it's not straight, it would be better. He's got the angle to run it through, and he has. His head towards the brown is tough, and uh, it's been a stodgy old frame, so it's not always easy to get your, your best queuing together on a shot like this, but I, I can't see that he'll refuse it. Well, he has. There you are. That shows you that he uh, isn't confident because he isn't normally a very attacking player. I guess it's like anything else. You know, if you don't fancy a shot, then you can't go for it. But I've seen him play shots like that basically all week, and he's knocked most of them in. Walk around the table here, I'm not sure why, but he must be thinking about not playing it directly. Because uh, I can't see why would you not play what you can see, and he can see the edge of it. He's determined he's going to play it off cushions. I'm surprised by this. Oh, oh goodness me, what has he done there? He could see the green anyway to play safe from it. That's a gross miscalculation. What on earth was he doing? Yeah, but I thought it was a risk, you know, could hit the black off two cushions, but he got the blue on the way through. Yeah, and, and he could see it, as I say, the, uh, the green initially. Okay. Interesting, well, it's going back, but will he just try and hit the green now? Because there's no doubt that he could see, uh, maybe not a quarter, but chunk of the edge of the, the green, which I think would have just kissed onto the, br the black for safety. Yeah, it's an important replacement. Not, not so much the blue, the cue ball, obviously. Colin Humphrey's helping Leon Scullion. <coughs> the blue's nowhere near there. Six and six in six fairness, six as I say, you know, Leo is not thinking about where that blue is. He's thinking about... The same way you were going. He's I'm thinking I'm about uh, where the, the cue ball was in relation to the, the green. Yeah, yeah that's the important ball, because as you say, you could see some yeah, of it. Yeah. We'll come to that when they've sorted the blue out. And uh, blue is important as well, obviously, because yeah, he hit it on the way through, but it's just not uh, something that probably Leo was thinking about. Towards the cushion. Yeah, side cushion. It's about right now. Okay. Yeah, mm, yeah maybe. But he, no, the fact that he hit it on the way through playing this shot. That way. That much. Same again. That way. <coughs> yeah, that's fine. So what was he going to try this time? I'll see down the line of this. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Colin. Well, it'd be really nice to see down the line of this shot because he could see the edge of it. I still don't know why he's not playing it directly. Oh, I miss. Carry Wilson for. I honestly don't know what he's doing on those last two shots. Well, he seems to left the pot. I was just thinking, I mean, but for the knuckle, I think that would have been a free ball. But anyway, the green seems to be on. Wilson 12 in front. Green and brown he needs for 8 4. Well, uh, the guys in the studio might have an opinion, but I've no idea why he didn't directly hit the edge of that green because he could do, and it looked a very safe option, and yet he decided something else needed to be done. To me, that was a huge mistake when he could have got closer in this final. Massive match for him. Big moment, for sure. He's battled hard tonight. It's not been fluent Gary Wilson, despite that century he made in frame 10, but he's won this little mini battle, it would seem. Blue stays out, so one snooker needed. Otherwise, Wilson's won from becoming Welsh Open champion. Thank you.
Yeah, the double kiss. Right. Left the blue, and Gary Wilson has won a 42 minute 12th frame. To get to 8 4, to get that breathing space, and to get within one of the Ray Reardon trophy. Martin O'Donnell has got to win the last five if he is to complete a fairy tale week here in Clandidno as champion. Thing is he's had the chances as well in all four of the frames there just on Ray Reardon I had the pleasure of actually going down to Churston Golf Club to interview him last year and he's still very very sharp still a great character so many stories about his decades in the game and a very significant figure as well in the 1970s Alex Higgins of course was uh, a player who brought a lot of people to snooker but Ray Reardon in a way was the establishment figure but he's also someone who demanded change and some of those venues in the 70s were not great and it was down to Ray Reardon to an extent that we ended up at the Crucible because as world champion he had certain authority and the rest really is history safety shot he's got a good blend really Gary Wilson he can play good safety he can mix it in that department and we know he he's been a very heavy scorer this week he can do that too so he's there's no obvious weaknesses maybe you know Gary Wilson's temperament has been something that's let him down in the past I think he's admitted to that he seems to have got that under control as well in general he's a bit emotional out there I suppose it's all about Martin O'Donnell though he's got to prove his temperament after that last frame, which he might might well have won. Now is he going to win five frames in a row? It looks a very tall order, doesn't it? It does, and these stats, they're, they're not great. It's not been the highest quality finals, no point pretending otherwise. Certainly, from his perspective, they've all got to go up in the remainder of this match. If he could, you know, it's all whips and butts, but if he could you know, win a frame in one visit, it does just send the message to Wilson that he's got to get this one. It's not going to be handed to him. Playing a slow roll here into them. He's worried it's rolling off that is the risk so he set up Wilson for his first chance here just trying to drop into the Reds but he left one on It's not the kind of shot you want to be playing, is it? That, that really, I mean, it's the last resort to roll up to a ball. You're in the lap of you know, the gods as to where the balls will finish if uh, it just rolls off or anything. Twice. Worked out very well, but he got serious backspin on that one. He kind of almost was willing to keep away out of that little area. And I suppose it's one of those where you can't put too much screw on the ball on that. Because you've got to keep screwing back through a lot of balls. So this could be where he gets his match one. It's interesting, isn't it? Because he's not played all that well today, Gary Wilson. Not as well as he can. But you know, if he goes on to win his third ranking event and he's not played his best today, Sorry. there's something ominous about that, isn't there? He's, he must become a winner when uh, a lot of players that are ranked higher than him. Are, it's a long time since they won anything, and uh, he, he's moved his game up uh, a couple of notches in the last 18 months, and it's. Now he's picking up trophies. No, that's absolutely right. I think what's changed is his head doesn't drop now. You know, you tell yourself his temperament in the past wasn't always the best, but he, he's become very tenacious, yeah. even when things aren't going well. And, of course, it's not just about the final. It's about the whole tournament. Oh, you have to win seven matches to win home nations. And from the last 16 to the semis, whitewash Robert Milkins and Anthony McGill, of course, he played a wonderful match with John Higgins, held off the comeback. 14. So he's played really good stuff this week. Just got to try and get it won now.
20. Obviously, it's going to be difficult without the black available to him. He wouldn't even want to try and get on it with the red on the black 100%. spot. He'd have to try and win this with whatever, whatever is in the middle of the table. He's over-screwed a bit on that pink for the red that he wanted to the right corner. He might still end up playing it. Alternative is the one into the left pocket, but uh, have to get the rest out. And find a way onto a colour as well, which won't be easy on this shot. Put a bit of right-hand uh, right side on that. Just to miss the reds, and he's not perfectly on it. I know he's missed an easier pink than this, hasn't he, already this evening? Deceleration. Yeah, uh, slowed the queue down, and we talk about decelerating. You meant to hit the queue's meant to be going at the, at the quickest on the at the time you hit it, but it's slowing down, and you overcut them. I think Gary Wilson was quite disappointed for a while after that uh, pink to middle he just missed. I saw him sitting there and he was kept shaking his head as if to say, well, what's happening? But what's happening is he is 8-4 up, first to nine to beat this man, so he shouldn't be too despondent. He's on the verge of another ranking title, his third. Just having a little bit of a an in-and-out evening. He started 6-2 and he's held this session to 8-4, so he's just doing fine. And he's not really being put under loads of pressure by O'Donnell who slowed up a little bit again took quite a while on that last safety shot he had a few issues with
well, that's not dead on that plant, but with the cue ball up the table, it kind of becomes a more natural shot to make it into a plant. What I mean by that is if, if the cue ball was down to the left, you know, that's just not really a way of making it, straightening it up. A lot of these plants are out there, the cue ball is in relation to the, the two balls you're trying to make into a plant, I think. Shot like that, it was a natural to go close to the pocket and also the cue ball coming back round the table. Yeah, so he's in for a second time in the frame, he needs to get this one. Just sort of feels like he will get enough chances, whether he takes this one. Be interested to see what he says if he wins, he's quite sort of um, self-critical at times, Gary. Hopefully though he'll understand the achievement. He does get over the line. Three ranking titles, having spent Six. 18 years from turning pro before winning his first. And it will put him in a very strong position for the rest of the season. He's overcutting quite a few of these shots now. The last three balls he's missed, he's overcut considerably. I don't know if he's, that was a deceleration though as well, but all of a sudden he's just not lining them up the, the right way. And he's, he's got his own little battle despite being, as I say, on the brink of a, another win. say it again he's not really being pressurized by O'Donnell now played brilliantly all week Martin O'Donnell but he hasn't really lived up to that today and he knows it Point. chance number three this is the difference isn't it you know if you fluff one chance and the opponent clears up you bang under it but that's not what's happened The yellow was the only ball that took him all the way around the angles. He couldn't do much with the green. Pink was the wrong side as well. Now, has he got the shot to pop this red on the black spot and hold for the black? Of course, it was free. We freed up by then. Yeah, this is... Uh, he's oh. virtually over the line here. If this black goes in, he gets on a red. He's already accumulated points in a, a not particularly pleasing way to him, but he's still nearly there. I mean, if he used to win, it will be interesting to hear what he says when interviewed. He'd probably be quite um, critical of himself because he was even, <laughs> you know, in some ways suggesting he was disappointed towards the end of the match with John Higgins after all that break building. It was a fantastic game of snooker. He held John Higgins off. It's hard to think that he could have done uh, you know, a lot more to beat uh, someone as good as John. He played brilliantly. Today's been a different story, though. I hope he will be encouraged because he's starting to win ranking events. He's played better of the two, and that ultimately is what you've got to do in any match. Martin O'Donnell, big occasion for him, his first ever final. That 12th frame was a killer. 20. And Gary Wilson just checking the scores, needs this black, and he will add the Welsh Open to the two Scottish Opens he's already won. He just got that breathing space, didn't he, at 8 4, 7 5, maybe, could have been a different story. But the story is. It's a hat-trick of ranking titles for Gary Wilson. Thank you. Wonderful week for Martin O'Donnell. Wasn't even on tour last year. I'm sure in time he'll take 
Uh, positives, even though he'll be disappointed with his performance here after that wonderful semi-final win over Elliot Slesser. Gary Wilson as well, the semi-final for him, the highlight with the maximum against John Higgins last night. The question was asked, wasn't it? Could Gary Wilson win a ranking event going back to late 2022? And since then, he's won three. Gary Wilson is the winner of the...